Guys, this is our first look at a Gen 3 V8 supercar. Guys, the FVR have just uh, dropped this today. It's absolutely fantastic, as is uh, all their work. Got Chaz Mostert's uh, Optus uh, Mustang here. Looking absolutely magnificent. So now we'll uh, we'll take her a bit of a spin and see how she uh, how she drives. Hey guys, first drive of a modern Gen 3 V8 supercar. You're on R Factor 2. Just dropped today from the guys at FVR. Done some fantastic uh, V8 mods over the years. Let's find it through the uh, Steam Workshop. I'll put the link in the video below. Of course, completely free. These guys do this all in their own time. As a drop by a little bit of a surprise today, we knew it was coming. Just didn't realise it would be today. Also, we're at the uh, wonderful Mount Panorama. This is the uh, laser scanned version, I believe, from uh, Assetto Corsa or ACC. It's been ported over, looks fantastic on R Factor. R Factor can look very good. Just get the right mods and crank everything up to the absolute max. Of course, the follow V8 Supercar has been a bit of a dog's breakfast uh, this year in terms of the. Uh, the competition between the two cars, that's where a lot of the error are off from the Gen 2 cars and that's caused the, the Mustang more problems than the Camaro. Rear stability has been an issue and they're chewing through its tyres. It's only one, I think one race this year maybe. Well, this car's look fantastic, you uh, saw at the start that we had a look at the, uh, the Optus Mustang of Chaz, uh, Chaz Mostert. Models look absolutely fantastic. It sounds great. All little crackles and pops. And then anything with the setup, we're just simply coming out to drive it. And uh, just very excited to see this drop, so I wanted to share it with you guys. Actually, uh, jumping on the AMS2 in a few minutes to uh, qualifying for the uh, V8 supercar event. And just saw this drop in between and went, ah, I better go make a video. Can't miss out on this. So we'll do some longer content later. So if someone's coming around behind me, we'll let them through. James Courtney and his uh, Snowy Rivers Mustang. Do some sort of flying lap and uh, so we'll do some longer races later on. The AI's at about 115 or so. So they'll probably absolutely murder me because I'm still getting used to the car, obviously. Literally just downloaded it and jumped straight in. So if someone comes up near us, we'll certainly let them past. I say, guys, jump onto this. Totally free. It's amazing work. Uh, so good to finally have Gen 3. We'll be able to drive it in our uh, fake racing world. Someone's at my clacker here. See if he punts me. Hopefully not. Whoop. <coughs> right, guys, here we go. First drive of a Gen 3 V8 supercar. Here in R Factor 2. The FBR guys have just dropped this a couple of hours ago by their Discord. A bit of a surprise, we knew it was coming. Probably just didn't expect it to be today. We've got the AI cranked up to its usual uh, way I run it, about 115, so they'll probably absolutely murder us here while I get used to the car. Just let them through if they come anywhere near us. So if you're familiar with Artifact, you know the uh, the quality of work that the FVR guys do on their mods. 
and all done uh, in their own time and for free which makes it even more amazing Car feels fantastic, sounds great, all little pops and crackles you all saw from our external shots there at the start how good the cars look this is probably my favourite livery out of all the Mustangs, I love the Optus, love the white and the teal blue Summon up my clacker here, so I'll probably let them through in a minute. Then through down through the elbow. That in the Pizza Hut car. Of course, we're here at the uh, fantastic laser scan version uh, importer from ACC. Uh, factor looking really good, which it does when you use the right mods. Uh, and crank the graphics up to the max. Got running a reshade as well. Can't remember which one, but it's a, a reshade of some sort. So unfortunately, it'll be a quick video today. I've got to jump into AMS2 in a few minutes to do their uh, qualifying for uh, ANZ CRL's Bathurst 1000 tomorrow. So I'm going to do a real quick video here just to make sure everything works. And these cars are as good as you think they are. A little bit of a flyer here. So the AI will absolutely kill us, but that's fine. The interiors are look good from what I can see. I haven't sort of uh, moved the camera around the car to check out the rest of it, see how much uh, they've done, but I assume it's uh, all detailed out. Definitely a lot more skatey than the Gen 2 car. Than what you expect. And no real setup with this, just uh, load it up, see if it worked, like I said. Jump in, have a steer. Feels fantastic. That's also a lot in part thanks to R-Factor's wonderful. Uh, Tire model and FFB. Just taking it super cautious. Yeah, do yourself a favour, jump on the uh, Steam Workshop. You'll find the link in the uh, description below. And have a go at these wonderful cars for free from a fantastic group of modders. We really appreciate their work. I'm sure you'll see these in a few league events uh, coming out in the next couple of months. But yes, it everything works, AI works, the cars work. It's all absolutely fantastic. We've got some more AI up our clacker there, we'll just let him through. And the Erebus cars. Alright guys, thanks for watching and uh, yeah, check out the FVR mod.